Hi everyone, this is a video to show how you can go about uploading a square video with embedded captions to your Facebook company page. So the first thing we obviously do is we go to Facebook. So if we open it up here, this is our company page. If you look down the left hand side, you'll see publishing tools. So you click on publishing tools in the left hand menu and you wait until that loads. Then on the top left here, you'll see create post. So once you click create post, it opens up the, the, the initial post builder for you. What you then do is if you click photo video and then upload photo or video, and there's several options here. We're going to show you what we're doing to upload a single video in this, in this video. So we click the top one and then we go and find the video on our finder. So here we are here. We've got Let's Talk Marketing Strategy MP4. We open that up. And that starts the upload process here in the, the video publisher. So um, you'll see there's several options here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch tabs over here because what I've done is I've pre-populated some of this stuff just in the interest of time. So we'll take a walk through all of these. The first thing we do is we add a title for the video. So we've called ours Let's Talk Marketing Strategy with Andy Jarvis, who was our guest on this particular video. We then add in the text that we'd like to use in order to, uh, to, to accompany the video post. You'll notice then down along the bottom there are several different options. Um, you, these are, you can use these or not depending on what you want to do. So what you can do is you can tag people in your post. Um, so for example, in this instance, um, we are mentioning the future of marketing. So we will tag that page, which is another one of the pages we manage. We'll also tag Andrew Jarvis, who was our guest. Um, if we can find him. So here he is here, Andrew Jarvis from Eximo Marketing. And because Eximo Marketing is obviously on these page, we'll, we'll tag that as well. Okay, the next page um, is the, the emotion page. We don't really bother with that location. I'm not really that fussed on either. There are no products being featured in our video, so we won't tag them. Adding a messenger button is a good option. It makes it very, very easy for, for people to respond immediately and that they can just click that messenger button when they see the video and ask you any question that they, they want to ask. Next stage then is adding in some tags. Um, again, this is optional. We'll just add in some pretty generic tabs here, as you'll see. They're, they're not um, really coming up on the menu, but just to, to show you how it's done, if we add in marketing and the future of marketing here. Okay, and then you'll see in this section below, You'll see the video has been uploaded. You'll also see the black lines at the side. That's because we have uploaded a square video. Whenever you publish your video, the black lines will disappear. So that is not how your video will actually appear in the feed. And then what we do is we select the language, which is English. Um, and there we go. So that's the, the video. Now, if we look at the left hand menu, the next section is a thumbnail. Your thumbnail is, is important. And um, this is what people will see whenever they, they come across the video in their feed. If you don't select one here, you'll see it's automatically selected one for you. It, it doesn't tend to select the best one, so you're always better. There are some auto-generated images that you can scroll through here and it will um, allow you to pick one of those if you want. But I wanna show you how to add a custom image. So if you look below here and you click add image, then what you do is you create a video thumbnail in the same size as your original video file so you'll see here we've got the let's talk marketing strategy jpeg so if we click that and open that that will select that as the thumbnail and you can see that's appeared here and we know now that's going to be the thumbnail image the other thing you can do is you can choose an actual frame from the video and once you click that it allows you to move through the video and select the exact frame that you want to choose okay so now we move on to subtitles and captions we're not going to actually do that to here because what we have done with this video is we have embedded the captions within the video file. We will do another video at a later date which shows you if you're uploading a 16.9 widescreen video and a separate captions file, how you go about doing that. But in this instance, we don't need to do that. And if there are other options here. We're not gonna go through those at the minute. They're for another day. So what we then do is we click next. Now you'll see here you have some um, various publishing options. First one is publish now, does what it says on the tin, you click publish now and it will it will be immediately appear. The second one is the one we're gonna show you how to use. Um, so I'll run through the others first. Schedule, you can set a date in the future. 
back date, you can set a date in the past, and you can save as a draft if it's something you want to work on. Premiere is the one we're going to select, and we're going to select it for a couple of reasons. There are some advantages to selecting a Premiere for your video, the main one being that the followers of your page will receive notification that your video Premiere will happen at the date and time that you select. The advantage of that is it builds some awareness of the fact that your video is going to be published and hopefully then when your video is published means that more people watch it. So for this, for the purpose of this, we're just going to set a date later today. So if we um, select May the 5th and then we say we go to 7 o'clock this evening, for example, whatever time you want to do, you can do this. The, what, the best thing to actually do here is to set it out maybe three or four up to seven days in advance. And that obviously gives you the maximum amount of time. You'll see below then there is a um, opportunity to post an image with your with your premiere, and that's really to notify people that the premiere is going to happen. So you'll see again this is randomly selected a video from uh, a frame from the video that we've uploaded, which doesn't really tell anybody what we want them to know about what's in the video. So if we click change image here. Um, You'll see Facebook Premiere thumbnail images, an image I've created. Now, something to note here is although we've created and published the video in square format, the Premiere image needs to be in 16.9 sort of widescreen format. So if we do that and we publish that in, you'll see I've got a specific thumbnail here that says, let's talk marketing strategy, strap yourself in the highlights. The idea being that it's hopefully a more engaging image and hopefully will encourage more people to actually and be aware that the premiere is happening and then hopefully watch the video whenever they whenever they want to do it. So that's really, you can add the playlists and do all sorts of things and add to other pages in your page manager if you want. For this video, we're not going to bother doing that. I also want to take a quick walk through some of these options on the left-hand side. This, this gives you some um, tags. So the first thing to notice here is um, what it says about video length. There's a lot of misinformation out there about the kind of video content that works best on Facebook. The algorithm actively promotes content that is longer than three minutes. Um, so if your video is longer than three minutes, it will, it will be shown to more people. In this instance, our short highlights video isn't. Your video description has a tick because you've described what it is and the tags, you've got the, the tick there and the HD video as well. We have our video as export in HD, but because um, our video is exported in 1080 by 1080 to, to be optimized for, for the square format to allow the subtitles, but 1920 by 1080, um, just as, as from the viewing experience, people reckon that that's, that's going to be more enjoyable for them. Okay, then if we hit publish, what that does is that just schedules that post for publication, um, and this usually happens very quickly. So once you've scheduled your video, then when you go back to your company page, what you'll see is, Although the video has been scheduled for later, what you'll see on your page is a post here, which includes the text of the post, includes the, the thumbnail image for the premiere that we uploaded, and will include a reminder that today at seven o'clock, tune in to watch live, and then visitors can click the um, get reminder, and that will mean they get a notification whenever the video is just about to go live. And that should help you make sure that your video gets most views. Okay, hope that helps. Um, thanks for watching. As I said, what we will do, one of our later videos will cover how to upload a 16.9 video with a separate captions file um, as a slightly different procedure for that. I hope you find that useful and good luck with your video efforts.